Hello folks, how are you doing today? It's another Hoover and it's another Hoover cylinder cleaner. It's another Hoover Sensortronic. You know I'm a sucker, no pun intended, for Sensortronics. Let's have a look. We have what can only be described as a hose. Which I'm going to have to open up without using any sharp blades. Now this hose is black. I'm not sure if it should have been silver, but it has got the correct hose end on. Looks dirty. It smells as well. Right. Here is the hose. And here is the swivel end that goes into the cleaner. And here is the handle end with the old suction gauge and the button to release whatever tool or wand you have in the end. Basic, no remote controls, no power takeoff socket on this Sensortronic, which I believe is an import. I'm pretty sure, and I'll explain why I think this, but I'm pretty sure this was not a UK cleaner, not officially, but it's found its way into the UK somehow. Somebody's been shopping at Amazon. Crikey. This should be white. The pictures weren't perfect. I think this will have discolored. It's gone cream. Oh, it's not too bad though. Oh. Ooh, it's a heavy beast. Oh, oh, oh dear. Now that's not right. And that I did not notice that was, well, yes, I might have a spare. Yes, these are broken folks. Mm. Quite, quite broken. Although, somewhere I am sure, I think this has been, somebody's tried to fix it, I think. I've never seen anything, ah oh, yeah. The locking ring, this locking ring here, there should be a locking ring on the end of that. But there isn't, but you can buy them on their own somewhere, I've seen recently. So as long as I can get out that broken plastic, I can fit a new locking ring to that. Although I'm sure I do, I possibly have at least one new spare one that the same as this, I think. So yeah, that's not very good. And I've no idea what on earth. Oh, hang on. What's happened here? Oh, right. That's odd. <laughs> Weep. That shouldn't, <laughs> that shouldn't happen folks. Hang on. Try and get that locking ring off. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to take a locking ring from a plastic wand and fit it onto here. I don't think I can. Yeah, I think that's probably, I mean, this is this end's broken as well, which I didn't know about. So yeah, that's a bit disappointing, but it's not, you know, it's not tragic. And finally out of the box, this is quite battered. I noticed from the pictures. It's a good job the bin men are coming tomorrow. That's all I can say. Oh, heck. Right, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to get my scissors. Just keep them away from my fingers. This is the uh, Contour Plus nozzle. Right, come on. Well, it's not, it's not that bad, I suppose. I could tell that it was scratched at the top from the picture. So it's obviously gone under a sideboard or something and they've rammed it under to clean under something and it's scraped the top. Ooh, that is pretty foul, isn't it? This has had heavy use, I think, this cleaner. Judging by this, look at that. And I suspect it's been used on carpets with the brushes down. Yep. 
judging by all the fluff on those brushes brushes up for carpets folks how many more times do i have to say this brushes up for carpet brushes down for hard floors or in the case of the uh, contour plus nozzle the brushes don't move it's the base plate the metal base plate that moves you might see it better from the side hang on there you see that's better look so the brushes stay still the base plate moves up and down okay folks well i'll unwrap this big boxy late 80s early 90s i think it's in the 90s by the time this one came along we'll have a look at it i expect there'll be quite a lot i need to do to this machine to get it back looking as new as i can well here it is folks and this hoover sensatronic 1400 has definitely had a hard life and it has certainly discolored through age this should be a gleaming white instead of this off-white cream and for some reason we can see the white it should have been when i turn the machine around and you can see in there i think they've changed the plug i'm not sure now this would have had a two pin plug fitted molded on this is not a uk version and I'll, I'll explain in a minute why it isn't you can see there that's the color it should be gleaming white i don't know whether to risk trying to retro bite this i mean this is certainly not uh it's not worth what i paid for it obviously there's quite a bit of interest in this um but they're so rare any sensortronic you know when i was uh you know collecting vacuums in the 80s and 90s you know not hard to get hold of you'd saw sensortronics everywhere you didn't see all of them you'd normally see like system 2 system 20 uh, maybe the top of the line you never saw i didn't see any shop that carried all of them maybe alders in croydon might have had all of them at the time but any sensortronic on eBay very very rare so obviously I did want this when I when I saw it and uh, it's the only other boxy style I've got I've got the total system 500 this shape but this one is the later version one of the last sensortronics because it's got they changed it slightly by giving a raised pedal and also it was very problematic there used to be a button in the middle that changed at least two times the earliest versions this style just had a textured panel here and you press down on it and the tool cover in theory should have sprung open and then because that was problematic they changed it to a physical button that pressed in that still wasn't much better so they've done away with the button altogether and there's this little recess now Ooh, that you open up to reveal i'm glad to say a full complement of small cleaning tools so in here we have the all-purpose nozzle in pretty good condition it's dirty but it's not very worn so that's that's nice to see we've also got again hardly used dusting brush and finally it's had some use but it's not as worn as uh, some of the crevice tools i've seen it's very short though you'd think they could have fitted in they could have maybe got a slightly longer crevice tool than that but that's uh, i think that's the original tool hopefully could well be but yeah you yeah there is room isn't there look there is room to get a longer one in there and this is certainly thicker this lid than the original one was so it does feel a lot more substantial so that's good now to access there's no bag in here and it's filthy judging by the pictures this is definitely and this i can see now it's it it's had a lot of use and there's some broken plastic in here which doesn't bode well 
and I'll take that out. Now, this should have a dust bag in and I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got one to hand. To enable this lid to close, the seller has shoved this part of dust bag in because without a dust bag in, the lid won't close. And then of course, on the talking version, it would say, bag is not correctly fitted. Yes, there was a talking version of this, which I used to have. Right, so I'll leave that for now. And here, where this blanking piece is, would have been a socket which would connect up to a plug on the lid for the machines that had remote control or power heads. But there is a power takeoff socket on this cleaner, surprisingly. Now, for some reason, certainly the earlier versions in the UK only had one filter, apart from the bag, and the single filter was, ooh, right. Yeah, I'm gonna give that, and that's not even, the, I don't think, although that brand there, Hoover did use that brand for the exhaust filter of the Turbo Power 2s. I'm not sure if that's the original filter. I don't know, it might have been for this cleaner. But that's gonna to need to be vacuumed a bit. I'm gonna vacuum out this a bit as well. Full of grit. Now, the UK versions, certainly the earlier generations, didn't have, this is the exhaust filter. It did have the grill, as far as I remember, but there was no filter. That is, oh, look at my fingers. That is carbon dust. So this this cleaner has, has had a, a lot of use because that is absolutely black bright. It's two layers, that's a carbon layer. That's the odor reducing layer. And then that thin layer there is the filter. Now I might be able to salvage the odor reducing layer. It won't work as an odor reducing layer, but I might be able to wash that. Um, the top filter I can just replace. I'm just going to cut a Miele air clean filter to fit that. So that goes there. And mm, there's some spongy material. That will be absolutely black as well. Well, it is black, but it's going to be full of muck. Right, well, before I show you outside the cleaner a bit more, I'm going to quickly vacuum and very briefly wipe this out. Get a bag, um, have a look around the outside of the machine and then switch it on and fingers crossed, it's not gonna sound as bad as it looks. Well, the pre-motor filter looks a little bit better, but obviously I will replace it. And I've got a Miele air clean filter and it's going to make a good replacement because obviously I need to cut it to fit, but there is a handy line already uh, drawn on there for that part. And then I just cut it short and then that will make a decent replacement. But for the time being, I'm only gonna switch this on briefly because I can't find a dust bag, folks. I did see one earlier in the week and I knew this was on its way, so I thought I'll put that to one side because I'll need that for the video and I can't find it. So we'll just shove this back in any old way. That'll do for now. And I've got these um, Filter Magic. This is another cut to fit. This could possibly, it's a bit thinner, but this could replace that carbon layer. And then another Miele filter using the uh, little oblong filter here as a template can replace that. So if I can't get the genuine ones, 
I will get something that's almost as good. I've also found this universal filter that I had in my stock that's just a big sheet you cut to size. I've also got, but I'm not going to open it yet, a genuine Hoover air freshener because there is an air freshener slot. Oh, I don't know if I can see it. Which way is the best way to show you? I'm gonna have to turn it around this way. Eek! I've wiped it a little bit on the outside, so I'm not gonna to get too covered in muck. Right, can we see it? It's a bit hard to see. I think I've... <laughs> well, just down here, there, there is a slot to put that round air freshener in place. So, anyway, look, it's a lot, a lot, lot better than it was. So because I can't find my bag, in order to be able to close the lid, I'm going to have to use this thing again, just to wedge in, just to keep that so I can close it. Is that going to close? Mm. No, doesn't want to close. Something's, a, yeah, it's because I'm trying to do something you shouldn't do, folks, you see. And the cleaner is saying, no, it should be more that way. Ah, oh, that might do it. Yeah, yeah it, has, it has shut because I have to press that to release it. It hasn't clicked, but yeah, that's, that's shut. I've wiped it. I've even had a go with the magic sponge eraser. That's what's left of a little piece of used. These are very good on textured parts of plastics, uh, textured plastic on a vacuum. Do not use one of these magic erasers anywhere near the writing, because it'll take it off. Don't use it on um, the glossy parts of the plastic, because it can dull them. You can get that shine back using a lot of polish. I've I learnt by my mistakes that way, but I tried. Now this is this side I haven't really touched, apart from the wet wipes. This side did have the magic eraser, and yes, it looks a bit better. There's still loads of black marks on it that this is going to need. Well, judging by the amount of carbon dust I found all over this cleaner, including in the exhaust vent here. This is going to need a thorough clean, you know. A wet wipe ain't going to do for this machine, folks. Um, so here's the control panel. It's not very sophisticated. Very basic, really. But they, at the end, certainly the UK versions, there was one left. But I think that did have remote control. They all, in the UK lineup, they think before they discontinued these they ended up with just having one machine which was a remote controlled machine I believe but I have a brochure from the earlier 90s um, that's got two models one with this sort of well I think they've both got a slight well that's rough they've both got a slide control uh, but one of them has symbols like this but the other one does have a display of of round lights that illuminate so this is basic because there is a bag check light. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I think there's a light hidden behind there, but there shouldn't, I don't think there's anything else that lights up on this machine. So you've got just a basic slide control, which certainly needs looking at. It was on that position when I got it, so I expect it was used on Max all the time. And here unusually, I've just made a mess. Oh no, I haven't. Uh, here unusually is a power takeoff socket. I do have a Turbo 300 head that fits that, but sadly it's got the short cord. There was a version with a longer cord that you'd clip to the hose and extension ones. I suppose I could rig something up as a temporary thing to extend the uh, cable. So I could possibly use this with the uh, electric head, which would be a lot better than the uh, Contour Plus head that comes with. So there's that, so the on-off switch here, Cable rewind here. Now this is the evidence I need to prove that this is not a UK machine or certainly not a machine made for the UK market because this is in French. So that's a little bit worn off, but that's just showing the five levels of filtration. Micro filtre, filtre chambon active. Char oh, Charbon, Charbon, not Chambon, that's ham, isn't it? Charbon, carbon, 
active carbon filter. Diffuser de parfum air freshener. Well folks, it's time I switch this on. This is coming out nice and smoothly. And so that's good. I could have wiped that actually, but didn't think of doing that. As I said, this whole thing's gonna need a full strip down. But it's certainly better than it was. Right, let's let, let the cord go in a bit. Okay, well, I'll just push that to one side, out the way a little bit more. Let's have a quick shifty at the plug. Well, it seems to, well, I'll have to rewire that. Like I said, this, this is definitely a French, this used to be, uh, this used to, well, it was made in France, but um, I think whoever owned this probably moved from France to the UK and brought the cleaner with them, I, I suspect. I don't know for sure. Okay, well, I'm just going to move over to the socket. It might switch on, it might not. Apparently, the seller did turn it on for a few minutes and it didn't blow up. Yeah, the bearings, I think, need a bit of a grease up. I believe it was mentioned in the listing that uh, it sounded a little bit rough when uh, winding down. I don't think the seller used that term, but uh, I, I understood what he meant. It's not too bad, but obviously there's not a lot you can do, I don't think, with the Sensotronic motors. Um, it's just going to be a um, bit of a clean, well, a lot of a clean, I expect. Um, bit of a grease wherever I can grease it and uh, clean the commutator and um, obviously when, once it's all cleaned out inside it's got all new filters in hopefully I'll get rid of that uh, grumble I don't think this will have soft start they didn't do soft start for these I think it'll switch on in maximum <laughs> So yes, as you could hear, it doesn't sound too healthy on the wind down, but when the machine's running, it sounds okay. It's not like some Sensortronics I've had, which <laughs> you couldn't run for very long without fear they'd uh, set on fire. At least I think this one is salvageable. I do have a couple of Sensortronic slash compact motors, new ones, but I'm not sure if it's compatible with this. Uh, Sensortronic with this generation but yes it, it might have had a silver hose it might have been black I'm not sure but anyway it's not bad it was you know a fair bit of money but at least well there's nothing broken on it it's discolored it needs a lot of cleaning up but I'm you know I'm as happy as I can be with it as I said they're pretty rare any Sensortronic now even on eBay France where you'd expect to find lots of French made Sensortronics compacts galaxies all sorts but no they're either still being used or they've uh, been dumped long ago last thing to check is the old cord rewind let's see how smooth it is if it works or it should do come on no <laughs> oh, yes there we go it's slow 
come on oh and I've just just seen a I haven't just done that have I is that cracked oh, it does go in I mean, it's still uh, oh, still covered in carbon I don't know there might be a tiny crack there but that's it's nothing to uh, to be too concerned about oh, we haven't looked at the back have we before I go unfortunately a bit aware here it's possible at some stage I might find a spares website that has one of these bumpers but most of the parts for this will be obsolete the filters will be hard to get hold of you can see here at the top this is storage slot and because this is quite a wide cleaner we've got two swivel casters as well as of course the wheels at the bottom but it's pretty robust because it has survived there's nothing broken so you know pretty pleased because again if I wanted wheels for this no chance we'll have a quick look at the rating sticker I'm not sure if we can date it from this so it's Hoover model SC056001 230 to 240 volts 50 hertz PCEE -E 1200 watts P tot 1290 so the 90 watts is if you add the turbo 300 power head which is a 90 watt power head P max 1400 watts and the serial number is 3020178 so I'm not really sure I can't remember how to date this I'd have to check the brochure I'm pretty sure this will be early 90s early to mid 90s perhaps made in France so there you go another boxy sensortronic to add to the one other I have in my collection oh, believe you me I had most of them some extremely rare models and I had them all from new I had system 100 system 200 I don't think I ever got a 300 I certainly got a total system 400 total system 500 that is one that I do have in my collection and I had the fabulous talking audio system 300 so yeah I so regret getting rid of all of those totally regret it I'm just glad to have any sensortronics in whatever condition to be honest these days they are pretty rare if you have any comments or questions about this sensortronic please comment below don't forget check me out on Instagram and Facebook where you'll see some exclusive photos and videos and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.